terrific NBA action. And our State Farm starting lineups. Here's a look. And a guy's checking out Tony Parker here. What can we expect? Well, with Parker, he's one of the best finishers in the league, and particularly at that point guard spot, you know, with his speed and his ability to penetrate. He's able to go into the teeth of the defense and either shoot that little floater or get all the way to the rim. Well, he doesn't have to get all the way to the rim. He's got such a variety of shots in the lane area that really make him hard to defend and make him a really clutch player late in games. He gets into the lane, and he's got all of the shots that allow him to score in there. You know, one of the reasons the Warriors traded Monte Ellis last year was because they had Klay Thompson waiting in the wings. He got better size at the shooting guard than Ellis had, a dead-eye shooter, and I think a guy who has an opportunity to become a big-time player in this league. And once the Ellis trade opened up an opportunity for Klay Thompson last season, he did not shy away from the opportunity. No, he seized it and embraced it. A lot of confidence for this young man. And you'd expect that coming from a basketball pedigree. His dad, Michael Thompson, the first overall pick back in the 1978 draft. After the trade, Clay Thompson averaged almost 19 a game. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Soft defense right there. Way too soft. And Parker, here we go. He dishes it to Green. Over Thompson. From 16 feet away, he cans it. There's 21 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Knocked away. Outside Curry. Here's the three. Good! Curry's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. To the paint. from mid-court can't get it to go and we reach the end of the first quarter Warriors lead by five and the second quarter seven and now the second quarter just getting set to start and the Warriors guys what jumps out to you in this game uh, stance wise well they've been getting to the foul line here an awful lot the aggressive play really paying off yeah, and you know what? It also helps to put the mute button on the crowd. I mean, when you methodically score at the line, that can put those fans on their hands. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. So for the Golden State Warriors right now, Clay Thompson and Brandon Rush at the 2-3. and three. Beadrench out there with Carl Landry, and it's Jack in at the point. Some changes for Golden State. Lee comes in for Andres Beadrench. And Steph Curry is subbed in for Clay Thompson. Curry with it. That's good. Curry's got five points so far. Getting better and better. Got that field goal percentage up in the 60s now. Well, they've dialed it in here in the second quarter. They are on fire. Jack with it. And a two-for-one opportunity. Yeah, they've got to hurry. Step on the gas here. Back to Landry. Gets it to go. Man, the offense just gets hotter and hotter. And they are really cooking now. You know what I like to say? You can microwave or you can cook with electricity or gas. <laughs> and you're that hot, you're cooking with gas. <laughs> There's 14 seconds left here in the second. Parker against Curry. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Well, I like what he did at the line a season ago, shooting 81%. You know, he really did excel at the stripe. I mean, they couldn't have asked for too much more from him when it came to knocking down free throws. And he makes the first. Different look here for the Warriors. And both free throws good for Curry. Well, you just knew he wasn't going to miss there. Not with so much riding on it. Duncan goes in. Shot is off. Look at the big man there. He knows how to go up and get that rebound. And a tight game here as we end. And now, brought to you by Sprint. And it's it. And welcome back. The Riverwalk, always a prime attraction here in San Antonio. 
Great play by Steph Curry tonight. Seven points, and he's gotten a three-pointer to fall for him, too. Yeah, he's no one-dimensional player, but he can do damage in several ways, including from long range. So with Ginobili sitting on the bench, here's how the floor looks for Greg Popovich. Tony Parker at the one, and Danny Green at the two. Boris Diaw is out there with Kawhi Leonard. And it's Duncan in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. You know, it's amazing, guys. Tim Duncan still a factor at both ends of the floor. You know, he's not quite the scorer that he was in his youth, but his defensive presence and the leadership that he brings to his team is amazing. Yeah, he's a terrific passer, whether it's setting up teammates out of the post or hauling in rebounds and making smart outlet passes to get the transition game going. Love his calm demeanor and the ability to stay even keeled out there. And he loves operating in that kind of space. Curry gets the leap. Rebounded by the Spurs. Diaw dishes to Parker. With the lead pass. Diaw the pass to Leonard. Up with it. And Duncan gets it to go on the assist from Leonard. Big time bucket there, Clark. And Kevin, the crowd is loving it. Well, they know exactly how big that shot was. Thompson against Green. Here's Thompson. He kicks it to Kerr. Over Parker. Here's Lee. No good trying to beat the buzzer. And the game still closer. While we're still getting underway here in the fourth, let's go down to Doris Burke who has our Sprite Uncontainable Game Report. Doris? Hi, guys. Our Sprite Uncontainable Game tonight, Stephen Curry. No issues for him finding ways to get points on the board, and that is what he does best for this team. You know they'll keep leaning on him for production the rest of the way. All right, thanks, Doris. It's been just a terrific game for him. It really has. They haven't figured out a way to stop him or even slow him down, so... Uh, they've only got one quarter left to come up with a solution. They're going to have to figure something out. Well, good luck with that. I mean, if they haven't figured it out by now, I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, I think we're going to see more of the same here in the fourth. On the court for Golden State here in the fourth. Clay Thompson and Brandon Rush at the two and three. Carl Andre is out there with Bogut, and it's Jack in at the one. To tie it up. Nails it. And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. And that had to feel good. Yeah, he exhaled as that one went down. Lee, left side. The dish to Barnes. Over Duncan. It's good! Boy, just terrible defense there. Steve, really just a layup line for the most part. I mean, not much defense at all either way. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Parker. Buries the triple! They do have a foul to give here. Yeah, you might see them use that at some point. I would. Ginobili against Thompson. Feeds the Jack. Inside. And that basket's going to count, folks. Gets the goaltending call right there. Big call, Kevin. He just didn't get there quick enough, and that's a tough break. Yeah, the fans not happy at all with that whistle. And the fans, as you would expect, not allowing their feelings to be kept on mute. They didn't care for that one. It's the first, and that will put them up by two. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a three-point game. Major pressure on those free throws, and it didn't phase him at all. A three-pointer now is the only option. So it's a narrow victory for the Warriors.